Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. Recently we got some clarification on a question that I've had for a very long time. What the buck? What's becoming of the Vanguard buck system? Will there be any more ships offered with bucks in the future? Or is the buck system going to be phased out? Let's begin. The easiest way to describe a buck or battlefield upgrade kit was that it behaves like a reusable two-way CCU. They were originally offered with lifetime insurance at the time of the Vanguard concept and have not been made available since. The idea of the buck worked particularly well with the central modular design of the Vanguard. According to the lore, all the extra equipment required to convert from one variant to another would be shipped in the empty space within the module. A sort of shipping container, if you will. The reason I'm talking about it now is because there have been some changes announced recently as part of a week-long update period before CitizenCon. Let's first get up to speed on three definitions. A variant in Star Citizen is now defined as a version of a root ship with physical changes. This could mean altered geometry, an altered thruster complement, or even different hardpoint options. This definition corrects some confusing ship releases we've had in the past and should prevent confusion in the future. The Sabre Comet was originally sold as a variant. Even though it was sold with a different loadout, its stats exactly matched the Sabre. The Comet variant was sold last year with LTI and is now being called a Special Edition. CIG made specific mention not to expect LTI on Special Editions in the future. These Special Editions are the cosmetic ships such as the Gladius Valiant, the Aegis Renegade, and even the Yellowjacket Dragonfly and the Nox Q. A module is now described specifically as something that can be switched allowing different gameplay options within the same hull. A module is a major component and it's normally quite large. The 600i was sold with a central module option to include luxury and exploration. Without changing the hull, the module changes the gameplay options and most importantly, a nearly limitless future developmental possibility throughout the life of the game. I believe the Drake Caterpillar is the best implementation of a modular ship. It has four interchangeable sections that can be arranged to suit your needs. The Endeavour is another truly modular ship that can be converted from farming, medical, exploration or pure science. The Retaliator is also modular, but adding to some confusion, it was sold in a couple ways. The Retaliator was originally sold as a bomber and later as a base model. The base model isn't a variant, it's just a stripped down version of the Retaliator. So what made the buck different than a module and why am I making content about it? The root of the issue seems to lie in balancing the now four Vanguard ship types. Unlike the original modular concept, CIG is now listing the Vanguard as four discrete variants. You can still mix and cross platform the equipment providing the hull can accommodate it. But you'll need to pay attention to some changes. Because they're no longer listed as modules, CIG was able to make changes to the hardpoints. The main variant is still the Warden. It can mount a fixed size 5 weapon on the nose. The Hoplite is the most modified of the variants as its central box has been completely replaced by seats. The Hoplite is also the least expensive variant that also loses two missile pylons from the Warden. The Hoplite is a one trick pony in that it's a dropship, no cargo, no speeders and no rovers. In my opinion the Hoplite is still currently the most dangerous dropship in the game. The troops can leave protected by the ramp, and the pilot maintains full control over all the weapons to provide cover. The Sentinel has a special suite for EW or electronic warfare type operations. This was the first major change that I noticed. According to the stats page, the nose hardpoint was reduced to size, meaning a maximum of size 4. The Harbinger is also down a size, and I can only assume that this is to offset the specialized gear that comes with those two variants. CIG stated that if you own a buck, It'll be converted into what's being called a combo pack, which includes the central room and the weapons that would come with the variant. The equipment will appear in your inventory and my only concern is that if the plan was to size down the hardpoint on the Sentinel and the Harbinger, what would stop me from putting all that gear on a Warden with the size 5 gun? So I'll close this video down with a question. If you're a citizen with a Vanguard Buck, would you prefer to see a CCU path from the Buck to a full ship? Are you happy with it just becoming parts? or should the buck disappear for a refund? Thanks very much for spending your time with me. I'm still having a good time looking at all the updated stats page, and I found a couple more gems for you. It's not all bad, so be sure to stay tuned for more. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.